Hello viewers, welcome back to another video in the car cave. Now, this is a Porsche Boxster GTS, and if you take a minute to look anywhere online, you will read several articles and see countless videos telling you that the GTS is the sweet spot of any Porsche model. And the Boxster is no exception. Before I dive into why, here are the headline figures. Now, nuzzled behind you is a naturally aspirated 4-liter flat 6 that produces 394 brake horsepower, 309 pound-feet of torque, driving the rear wheels with two transmission options, 7-speed PDK or 6-speed manual, whatever your preference. 0-60 to 60 is done with in 4.3 seconds, and the GTS has a top speed of 182 miles an hour, with an MSRP starting at just over $92,000 without options. Now, the GTS comes with certain accoutrements as standard where they would otherwise come at an additional cost. PASM, sports suspension, drops the ride height by about 20 millimeters, and PASM stands for Porsche Active Suspension Management. Sport Chrono Package is guaranteed, and the interior comes equipped with a GT steering wheel in Racetech, Sport Seats Plus with Racetech seat centers, and of course, the GTS logo on the headrests. Some of the standard bells and whistles are also specific to the GTS and can't be selected for any other trim. This includes a bespoke front fascia, a reworked rear end to accommodate the two separate exhaust pipes, and 20-inch 718 sport wheels, which are not available for any other trim other than the GTS. Now this is all wonderful, but it's not why I think it's such a great option in the Boxster lineup. See, the GTS stands out to me because of its engine. In fact, it is a detuned version of the same 4-liter that you find in the 718 Spider. Speaking of which, I did a review of the 718 Spider where I constantly called it the Boxster Spider. Luckily, the online community of Porsche enthusiasts quickly corrected me in the comment section, repeatedly. So it's a 718 Spider, not a Boxster Spider. I'm sorry, it's too late. Either way, I will leave a link for you to be able to go check out that review. Now, back to the engine, this is kind of a very important distinction because originally, the 718 generation of the Boxster didn't have an NA 4 liter. In 2019, when it was introduced, Porsche fitted a 2.5 liter turbocharged flat four. Now the Porsche community was not exactly happy about this and much to Porsche's credit, they listened and in 2020 they gave the GTS the NA 4 liter. Now this means two things. First off, Porsche listens to the feedback of their customers, which is great. And also, it means that you don't have to stick out the money for a GT4 or a 718 Spyder to get a naturally aspirated mid-engined Porsche. And just have a listen to how brilliant this thing sounds. So all that being said, why is the GTS the sweet spot? Why not go for the 718 Spyder instead? Well. The GTS is cheaper, and in my opinion, it's more usable and more convenient. So it is less low than the Spider, so it's a little bit more usable, and you don't have to cringe every time you go up a driveway. And the roof operation only requires a single finger and a few seconds, which is not the case for the 718 Spider, but I'll let you check out the other video to find out more about that. So to sum it all up, the GTS gives you all of that great driving pleasure and that naturally aspirated linear power delivery for a lower price and in a more usable package. So that's all I have for this video. A quick thank you to Porsche of Ontario for loaning me this beautiful 718 Boxster GTS, which is actually finished in chalk. I will leave links to their website and YouTube channel below for you to go ahead and check them out. Otherwise, please leave me your thoughts on the GTS or on the channel in the comments below. Like if you could, subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you in the next one.